okay, products by factors, people do this all sorts of ways, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So I need to break this number into its prime factor factors. So I'm going to write prime numbers. So 2, 3, 5, 7, not 9, 11. And then just bang a few more on. So 2, 5, 2. Or we start with 2. So 2 goes into that. Half that, so half of 2, 5, 2. Half 250 is 125. Half of 2 is 1. So it's 126. And I keep sticking with 2 until I can't use it anymore. So how many times does 2 go into that? Half it. Half of 120 is 60. Half of 63, so that's 63. And now that's an odd number. I can't use a 2 anymore. Okay, now I'm going to go to number 3. So does 3 go into that? It does. Okay, 3 goes into 60 20 times. And it goes into 3 once, that's 21. 3 fits into 21 7 times. 3 doesn't fit into 7. Go on to 5. 5 doesn't fit into 7. Well, 7 fits into 7 once. Okay, when I've got 1, I know I'm done. Okay, that's why I like this method. And it's not all over the place. And my prime numbers are just allocated down. My actual solution's down here. It's not in a big tree somewhere. So let's write them all out. As that is the product of its prime factors. Product meaning multiplied, so that's done. You can abbreviate it, two squared times three squared times seven, but it's not gonna do any favors for the next question. So next question, it's asking for the common factors of 252, which I've got, and 105. And um, because we've got prime factors, it's encouraging me to use a Venn diagram. So what I'm gonna do is break down 105 using prime factors. So two, three, five, seven, not nine, 11, a few more. <clears throat> and I can see it, try and see, it. right, two don't fit into that. Three probably does fit into that, I think it does. Okay, if you're not sure, you can just use some divide, Some um, you can use bus stop method to divide, or just try a number that you do know fits in. So you can try five, because five definitely fits in it. Five fits in 120 times, and um, five once, so that's 21. Okay. <clears throat> five don't fit into that anymore. But now I can see that 3 actually does fit into this one, 7 times. 3 doesn't fit 7, and I've got 7 again. 7 goes into it once, okay? But 105, if you divide it by 3, I think it's 35, and then you could have got the same solutions anyway. But you can go down these a little bit and go back. So that's, this is 3 times 5 times 7. Let's do the highest common factor, got a Venn diagram. Factors 105 here, factors 252 here. And we're going to use this and this to complete the Venn diagram. So for 252, we've got these two twos. There's no twos in there, so they're going to go in here. Get rid of them. You've got a three there and a three there, so that's going to go in the middle. Get rid of them. You might not want to cross out your actual solution to this one, so it might be worth rewriting this. I'm going to bang that back on now, I think about it, because I don't want that not to be seen as my solution. Um, there's a 3 there, but there's no more 3, so that's 3 is going to go in there. Uh, there's a 7 there, and there's a 7 there, so that's going to go in the middle, cross them both off. And what's left is a 5 there. And the highest common factor is these common parts, and the way to do that is multiplying them. So the highest common factor is 21. You don't have to do it that way. You can do factor pairs, absolutely. But that way is when you've got bigger numbers, it's easier. And then we could probably find a lowest, well, we can find a lowest common multiple from this as well. We do all of the numbers in the Venn diagram multiplied together.